heat was pretty extreme. It was the hottest we've ever run the car. So that brought lots of uh, issues out, including the temperature of the car. So warning lights on the dash the whole time, but everyone was in the same boat. So quite uh, lucky the, the, the motor survived all weekend because it was over temperature for a, more than a whole day. So uh, tyres didn't didn't like the surface. It was obviously overheating the surface. It was about 58 degrees. So we had to overcome all those things and we had a quite quick car with it uh, with everything hot and um, overall a good day. So just before race one, uh, the weather changed dramatically. Uh, thunderstorm came through. Temperature dropped like 10 degrees. The rain was coming in sideways. We had to shut all the doors. Um, so the boys worked frantically on the on the wets, make sure they were pressured. We changed the car setup uh, completely. So in the end, we uh, race race one with a, a, a bit of an in-between setup between a, a wet and a dry. Something we've, we've raced on before in the dry, but we knew in the wet it would still be okay. Yeah, the race one was very interesting with Roland. I thought I had, had him covered and had all the, the pace on him, and he got very brave and put it down the inside of Corporate Hill, which is uh, fair enough to him. I, I didn't think I left big enough gap, but he made one, but um, it was a bit of a textbook move. He outbroke himself, went, went flying past me, and I, then I put it back up the inside, up the back straight, and then had track position for the next corner, and was uh, in enough enough a position to hold him off for the rest of the race, so yeah, had a fantastic, fantastic race run with Roland. Uh, thankfully enough, it was a dry race, and it went all the way to the last lap where it started to drizzle, and it got very, very hairy out there, but I got to hold uh, Roland out, and um, yeah, one, one, more, one more lap and it would have been called off, I think, because it really started to come down. So, uh, race two, it was, it was interesting, it was totally different conditions. We dropped down to mild 20, 20 degrees, the tack, track temperature dropped more than 20 degrees, so we went back to what we what we knew. Uh, it wasn't quite good enough for race two. Roland um, got me on the start, and uh, I just followed him the, the whole whole race. Couldn't bridge the gap, but um, just stayed on his tail the whole race. And yeah, it was, it was a strong result for us. We were on consistent lap times, but um, fair, fair effort to Roland. He got me on that one. And then uh, race three was much much the same. Um, got behind Roland. There's a lot of chaos at the start with the front guys, so we got punched up. Lost, lost a couple of seconds to him and, and chased that down. And then um, I got over the radio that he got a false start penalty, so I had to just make sure I was within five seconds of rolling. So although I wasn't on his tail, we had a race to keep the five second gap, and um, we held the gap to 4.7 seconds at the last lap. So it was really good, and we won the round. That's it for the year. It's the last round for us. Um, that's actually my last round in that car too. So that car's been very good to me, and uh, I'm upgrading to an 07, and we've got a young driver stepping into number 66. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, I look forward to. Helping him along within the team, and we'll make it a two-car team next year, and it's really exciting times.